Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. I think I strained my milk. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to the channel. What we're going to do today is just basically do some more cleanup around the mountain. We got a bunch of things coming up here on the side of the hill here, so we're going to uh, work on that and uh, basically do a lot of cleanup around the property here. It's been a while since we've been able to get out here because it's cold and rainy and muddy and stuff like that. So, but today is actually a t-shirt day. And she's already at it. So, but if you haven't done so yet, hit that like and subscribe button. It uh, helps out a little bit. But anyway, uh, we're going to get started. We're going to start up here on the hill, clean this up. Then we've got a bunch of stuff to move down here. Uh, just, just basically a cleanup day. That's off of this one. This is actually one of the handiest things I believe we bought so far. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Alrighty guys, this right here is an old tarp that was uh, uh, piled up behind the barn there that we had. We used to have it lumber covered up with it. And as you can tell, it's been there for years and it's just de disintegrated into this trash. So we cut it up in pieces and we'll put it in a bag so we can haul it off to the dump. Uh, then we're gonna work on, after we get all this up, where it's kind of, it's full of like piss ants and bugs. So we're letting all that come off of it before we put it in trash bags, put it in the car. But anyway, we're gonna work on that area right there too get most of that straightened up because the plan is to put more water totes through there probably six probably six or eight more water totes on this side ever how many i can fit there i think i can fit six maybe down this side and we're gonna get this lumber here cleaned up before the snake season starts coming out i mean this time from now but uh we'll get it done so we don't have to deal with them too much so we're working on that and then we'll get all these pieces of tarp tar, and we'll get all this uh, cut up some more and throw them bags We've tried, son's tried. Uh, we've had a few people try to grab hold of this. It's a grounding rod, it's an eight foot grounding rod. That's how much left sticking out of the ground, out of eight feet. And that thing's in there, because we beat on that for probably two or three hours when we put it in there. So I want to get it out. Instead of cutting it off the ground, I want to get it out so I can use it again over on these panels again. So, uh, like I said, we've tried, very, we've tried to grab it and pull it. Uh, so what I'm going to try to do is come up with a small hack to do it. I got two blocks here, and I tightened up that grounding lug on it real tight right there. And I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna try to push down on it, and see if I can get it to break loose. 
And if I can get it to break loose, I'll get it out. So, but it, that's solid rock right there. So if this works, that's an idea. It's moving. I got it up. It moved. Mm-hmm. Uh, still moving in. Uh, negative. Uh, let me go one more thing high. There's something. Maybe that won't bust in pieces. That's pretty good. See if we can get it to come up a little bit more. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's moving. Ah. Uh, yeah, felt it. Come a little easier there at last. Let's see if it'll move. Yeah, I'm moving it with my hands now. So, whew. anyway, that will get it loose. I can move it with my hands now. Whew. I think I strained my milk. <laughs> That'll be good. I finally got that in there. It wasn't as hard to drive over here because this is field dirt when they push that dirt in here. But I mean, it's it's right now, that's, it's in the rock or something down there right now. That's as far as it's gonna go, which is far enough. Uh, that's an eight foot rod. So, I mean, that's far enough in the ground right there. So I'm gonna take this ground wire. I'm gonna run it over here, ground it good here. And I'm gonna run it up into my Combiner box. That way, this is all grounded on this side. The other, the upper part's already grounded on this side. That right there's wore me out. You start out with a ladder hitting way up here. And it took a couple hours to do that. Off and on. All I'm gonna be doing is. Looking this ground wire up to that ground rod that took me two hours to beat into the ground. So, I just gotta figure out a way to enter the box. I don't wanna have to drill a hole, but it looks like I'm gonna have to. I don't wanna just knock one of those plugs out, so. That. Got it grounded, ground wire, right over to the grounding rod. Good enough for now. It wasn't grounded at all. This ray, right, this eight panels wasn't grounded at all. It is now. Uh, I still gotta ground the panels. 
and I'm gonna run a, I'm gonna run a, like I've done the other ones, I'm running ground from panel to panel, and then down and ground, and then the rails, um, the, what do you call them, unistrets, I'm gonna ground those and bring a wire down to the ground. So everything's grounded, triple grounded like it is on the other 12 panels up there, so. Anyway, this thing's got grounds all over it, so I hope it don't ever need it, but. Alrighty guys, uh, that's gonna do it for today. Um, it's getting late, we're gonna go in there and fix dinner. But uh, we did get quite a bit done. Uh, we got that side of our cleaned up. We got this side of here cleaned up to start to build for the uh, the grow area, the greenhouse type area. So we're gonna start that probably next here pretty soon. So we're gonna get that out of the way. I got the, the solar panels grounded. I got that hooked back up. We got that old tarp tore up. We got that in trash bags and parcel and hauled off in the morning. I think that's about it. We got some more stuff around the house we got to do. You know, you, when you're building and stuff like that, you know, like scrap lumber and stuff like that, before you know it, it's everywhere. You got piles everywhere. So we're going to try to get some of it cleaned up and burn up and all that stuff. Uh, our water totes are completely full. The chickens are doing great. We, she, just, she just went in there. We just checked these about four hours ago, five hours ago. And I went in there and she's already got eight more eggs. So, I mean, they're absolutely pumping the eggs out. They're pumping them out. Anyway, uh, if you haven't done so yet, guys, uh, hit that subscribe button. Help us out. Y'all keep up what we're doing here on the mountain. I guess until then, I guess we'll see you on the next one. All right, thank you, guys. Good job. I'm watching Skype. I'm watching Skype. There you go. Good job.